Hi everyone, welcome back to Average Fitness, fitness tips for the average person. Today's workout is going to be on our legs. We're going to be doing a few different exercises, four or five in total. I'm going to be using a small amount of weights. I've got my backpack to one side here, ready to go. You can do that as well if you like, but it's absolutely not necessary. If you want to work out just body weight, you know, only that's absolutely fine. Um, we're going to be progressively overloading the exercises as we go. But like I say, if you want to work out body weight only, that's absolutely fine. There's various different ways you can, you can overload the muscles as we go. Make sure you're all warmed up and stretched and ready to go. Make sure you've got a drink to one side to stay nice and hydrated. And let's do it. So the first exercise of the day is going to be squats. The fundamental, <laughs> greatest exercise for, for lower body that's ever been invented. Um, what we're going to be doing is we're going to do three sets of eight reps. So eight reps at a time, take a small break and then move on to the next set. The first set is going to be body weight only. That's just to make sure that we have our form absolutely perfect before we, we move on to the, to the weighted squats. So for squats, what you want to be doing is standing with your feet shoulder width apart, toes pointed slightly outwards if needs be, or straight forward depending on your preference. And you're going to bend at the knees, stick your backside as far back as you can, keep your core nice and tight, and aim to keep your shoulders and your chest upright. Um, what you don't want to do is allow your knees to progress over your toes. So bend at the knees, backside goes backwards, drop down until your knees and your hips are parallel, and then drive up through the heel. So that's one, two, three. Keep your chest nice and high if you can. Remember to keep the core nice and tight. One more. And take a breather. Shake it off a little bit. The next set is going to be weighted. So in this backpack I have a couple of dumbbells and a full bottle of water. I would estimate somewhere around six kilograms in this, in this backpack. Um, I'm gonna pop that on. If you have dumbbells or weights or any household goods to one set that you want to use, by all means do so. Like we say though, you do not need to, to overload the muscles in this way. There's various different ways. <coughs> Including slowing down the motion, especially on the, on the way down, um, or holding at the bottom, or like I say, a bunch of different ways. What I'm going to be doing though is trying to maintain that steady pace with, with the weight of the back. So, knees bent, backside goes backwards, come nice and tight, down parallel, and back up. That's one, two, three more, come nice and tight. And last one, take a breather, shake it off a little bit. For the third and final set of squats, I'm going to pop in another two bottles of water, probably adding another three or four kilos to the back. Alright. Okay, a few more seconds rest. Feet shoulder with the bar, bend at the knees, back side goes backwards, chest nice and high. Go. Two more. Last one. That's that. Alright, take a rest. Next exercise is going to be lunges. Once again, first set, we're going to do body weight only. When you're doing lunges, the key is to take a nice big step forward. So pick whichever leg you want to start with. Take a huge step forward so that when you bend both knees, your back knee comes down towards the floor, but your front knee does not extend over the toes in your front foot. For example, big step, drop the back knee, and your knee should be roughly in line with the middle of your foot. Step back up. Try to keep your shoulders nice and high and your core nice and tight. Three sets of eight. First one body weight only. Let's go. Alternate legs. Two. Last one. 
Take a breather, shake it off. Once again, adding a small amount of weight for the second set. So we're basically making each of the three sets a little bit harder every time. <clears throat> Remember, big, big step forward. Go. Make sure that front knee does not extend over your toes. It should be in line with the, the center of your foot. Two more. And two more. For the third and final set, I'm going to add some more weight. Like I say, by all means, follow along. If you want to do the exercise in body weight only, that's absolutely fine. If you want to make them harder without adding weight, slow the process down a little bit. Instead of each rep taking two seconds, make it take three or four seconds. Okay. A couple more seconds. Press. Big step forward, chest nice and high, go. Last one. Next exercise is going to be single leg deadlifts. So again, we're going to do a few reps, body weight only, just to get the form correct. Because we're doing single legs at a time, I said in the neck, we're only going to be doing four reps at a time. Three sets of four, all we're going to be doing at each leg. So for example, I'm going to start with my left. What you want to do is have your knee slightly bent. Bring your right foot off the floor. Keep that knee bent. You don't want to be locking that knee at any point. But try and keep your leg as straight as you can without locking your knee. So, you're going to go down. Using your back leg as a sort of pendulum. And then back up. So there's one. Nice and slow, nice and controlled. You don't want to be doing bending forward. You want to be pivoting at the hip. Legs. So, knees slightly bent. So effective. For the next set, I'm going to be holding a small weight, one bottle of water, one two-liter bottle of water in my hands, um, just to make the exercise a little more difficult. We've got a few more seconds for us. Remember, the key is to keep your knee off lock. You don't want your knee to be locked in position. But you want to try and keep your leg as straight as you can. The straighter your leg, the more difficult the exercise is. So, leg bend in the knee. One foot up the floor, knee binds, and then down. One more. So it's nice. Bend your knee. I'll make the narrow.
Okay. Let's get on that Christmas tree over, otherwise I'll be in trouble. Okay. Knee slightly bent. Leg nice and straight. Go. Stand still in between sets. The biggest mistake you can make when you're working out is to stand still or sit down or lie down in between sets. Okay, next exercise is going to be glute break. Okay, for glute break, I'm going to be using a foot stool. You can use a sofa or anything else you can lean up against that's going to remain in place and keep you steady. Place the shoulder blades. Um, against the against whatever it is you're resting against, feet flat on the floor, make sure your backside comes up, and then you're going to drive through your hips until your shoulders, your hips, and your knees are in line, making sure that your knees and your angles are at the right angle. Down and back up. You'll do this eight times. Keep the core nice and tight. Two more. Alright, take a breather. We're only going to be doing two sets of these, and then we're going to move on to the final exercise, which is going to be calf raises, and we're going to do a whole bunch of those. With the glute bridge, keep your core nice and tight, and you really want to squeeze your, your glutes while you get to the, the top part of the, of the exercise. And that's what kind of generates that, uh, that strain in the muscles and helps the muscles grow. We've done one set of eight, we're going to do another set of eight just now. It is going to be our final one. So we're going to slow the exercise down a little bit and we're going to pause the top of every single rep. So, in position, pull nice and tight, ready. Yeah. So we're going to drive up and pause at the top. Really squeeze the glutes when you get to the top. Two more, bit of a pause. Slow the reverse down, bit of a pause. Nice and slow, last one. Really squeeze and down nice and slowly and relax. Whew, all right. We're going to move on to calf raises and that's going to be the last exercise that we're going to do. Thank you. Okay, do your calf raises. Pick whichever leg you feel is your weaker leg. In my case, that would be my left, and you're going to start with that. We're going to do as many reps as we can, let's call it 20, um, and then we're going to switch legs. So, using a wall for support, take your other leg off the floor, and you're going to press up on your toes, keeping your heel up the floor as high as you can, a couple of seconds, and down. Do not let your heel touch the floor in between the reps. So, two, three, four, Two more. Two more. And oh, God, is it? 
Oh, Jesus Christ. All right, well done everyone. Thanks for, for working out with me today. Don't forget to stretch um, to make sure you, you ease your muscles back into a relaxed state, nice and slowly. Don't forget to stay hydrated um, and keep checking the channel for more fitness tips, fitness videos for the average person. Remember, we are not here for, for people who are looking to become pro bodybuilders or semi-pro athletes or anything like that. We're here for the average person looking to work towards their, their fitness goals in an attainable, sustainable way. Until next time, take it easy.